Tower, Tampa police and federal government agencies are teaming up to keep your family safe. They unveiled a new plan that could stop a potential terror threat where hundreds of people pass through each day. Bill Logan was there for a first-hand look. It's the sort of security we've seen a lot of since 9-11 at places like airports and seaports and major sporting events. Now, here at the bus station. To sort of invent the wheel in advance in case we have to, if there ever is specific intelligence requiring us to be here, this way us and our partners are ready to move in at a moment's notice. What we're looking for are threats to national security as well as immigration law violators. We're also looking at one of our main initiatives, which is bulk cash smuggling. And so passengers ready to head toward Orlando, Jacksonville, and points north had to go through a series of checks while Susu from the Tampa Airport Police Department gave the bus his sniff test. It's all part of what Homeland Security calls Viper for Visible Intermodal Prevention and Response. Yeah, they're big on initials. In this team effort between TSA, ICE, CBP, and TPD. This is ongoing for us. We do this every day. And for the folks who travel like this day in and day out, it's a comfort in troubled times. Uh, I feel safe uh, knowing that I get on a bus and I'm not going to blow up. Now, it's not like this sort of security is going to be on display at every bus terminal every time. But the message here is, it could be. That's why we'll be back. We won't say when we'll be back. This is the first time we're doing. But this way, the bad guys, if you will, are on notice that we'll be back. In Tampa, Bill Logan, ABC Action. It is known as the Gladiator School by inmates for its violence. The Idaho Correctional Center, the place where security cameras captured the beating of Hani Alabit. The 24-year-old appears to plead for help, looking to guards, other prisoners, anyone to stop the assault by a fellow inmate. I'm imagining him reaching for this door while this guard is on the other side and never once trying to help him. But no one steps in, even as the attacker stops to rest, then starts again. All the while, guards stay behind glass. The prison video obtained exclusively by the Associated Press. The images, evidence for critics that the privately run prison is a place where violence reigns. Lawsuits say that the operator, Corrections Corporation of America, denies prisoners medical treatment to cover up assaults. In the case of Hani Alabid, minutes passed after the last beating ended and the cell block door opened. The attacking inmate handcuffed in a lobby examined for signs of life. And there is my husband called me. He said, you know, get ready. I said, where? Go into prison. I said, did I die? He said, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. He said, we don't know yet. But they said he been beat up. Ilabid was in prison for robbery. He says in a lawsuit that before the attack, he felt threatened after giving details about drug trafficking between inmates and staffers, put in solitary confinement for his protection, then returned to the same unit he allegedly snitched on. Ilabid was there only six minutes. Then the beating happened. Corrections Corporation officials say the prison is safe. And in a statement says public release of the video poses an unnecessary security risk to our staff, the inmates entrusted to our care, and ultimately to the public. Idaho state government has pushed to privatize prisons here. The state corrections department says it cannot talk about the video because of pending litigation. Critics like the American Civil Liberties Union call the prison a gulag, filing a potentially class action lawsuit on behalf of inmates. Martin Horn has led corrections departments in New York City and Pennsylvania. He says the numbers show prison violence is actually declining. It's the result of good management by prison authorities. I think uh, it's the result of improved classification procedures. I think it's the result of improved training of corrections staff. I think it's uh, the result of uh, a realization on the part of people who run prisons that in order for prisons to run properly, we have to keep the inmates safe. Today, Hani Alabid cannot say much about the assault. The helpful son who made the family's car business go, now suffering from brain damage, short-term memory loss that won't go away. His family has reached a settlement with Corrections Corporation of America. The terms, confidential. He used to be, he used 
to help me in everything. But right now we can't do nothing. Nothing. Just sitting, you know. Can't drive. Can't swim. Can't go camp. Eventually, he was released on a medical parole. Too injured to be cared for in prison. Lee Powell, the Associated Press. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Tuesday, November 30th, 2010, I am Darko. Uh, welcome everyone to this uh, final part, the third part of this War on Terror, Liberty, Sovereignty news segment. Um, there was a lot of news today, and uh, I just want to make sure I covered it all, so I try to squeeze it in the two, but I ended up having to bust it into a third video. Um, you just saw that, uh, that uh, video, actually both videos there, and I just covered uh, about four days ago, five days ago, where... I was talking about whole homeland security. Oh, that's what they did. They, it, uh, they keep doing this. These uh, agencies and that, and uh, companies, uh, they keep putting out these. They keep uh, press releases. Basically, keep going out, and then they keep going back and saying, "Oh, we didn't say that. We didn't say that." And I was covering an article where it was saying that body scanners were going to be hitting subways and bus stations now, and then uh, uh, the article had to be corrected. I think it was from the Hill. It was the Hill. And um, I guess uh, DHS uh, notified him and said, no, we didn't say that. We didn't say body scanners were going into bus stations. We just said that we were increasing security in bus stations and ports. And uh, I think it was somewhere else. <clears throat> uh, but either way, you just saw it. Um, that, that was a uh, oh, cute little Susu dog, a sniffing dog, going to go and sniff through your stuff um, because you're so free and you have the Fourth Amendment to protect you against unreasonable searches and seizures, so, um, you know, it's just, it makes me sick, you know, they're like, um, you know, uh, they would like to do that all the time, basically, is what they're getting at, ooh, you know, and then you got that one guy in the bus, you know, oh, it's nice to know that uh, my bus won't blow up, well, how do you know it's not going to blow up, you really think that a, a that an organization or a corporation known as the United States federal government is going to protect you, they have a monopoly on security, so if they do a bad job, no one's going to take their job over, right? They don't get fired for, um, you know, not being efficient or good, right? Or keeping, quote, people safe, right? Like these assholes that just said that they're in charge of keeping these prisoners safe, right? And it doesn't matter whether uh, the person in the prison uh, actually, you know, uh, did something right or was falsely, or did something wrong or was falsely accused and didn't do anything at all and he was in there. Um, you know, when, when the tables will turn when you're in there. And you're going to look at this and be like, man, I wish that wasn't me. Because that guy, was a de he was a decent-sized dude, man. He must have been a, over 200 pounds, dude, and he got his face beat in, and nobody did anything. And why? Why did the guards not do anything? Well, because he saw the corruption going on in the uh, in the prison between the guards and the inmates. So... And that's uh, that seems to be the trend. These uh, private prisons. That, that really does seem to be the trend. I'm surprised I haven't done it in the Midwest, and Illinois, and Indiana, and Michigan yet. Um, but it sucks because why? They're a corporation. So I mean, this is this is what you need to know, guys. Is that uh, because it's a corporation, they're they have limited liability. They've been granted corporation status by the government. Therefore, they're not really liable. There's no person liable. You know, so they're not going to be liable. And the government, if it's a public-run prison, or if it's, say, TSA, scumbags, you know, they have no liability because they have a monopoly. They can't get fired. You see this? You see the, 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 the catch-22 in all this? And I proposed my solution in the last video, so hopefully people listen to it. Um, we're going to move on here. After all that, uh, I'm just going to pop this article in there because it was probably the most... Uh, under the radar article, I think, uh, that went out, besides the Chinese and the Russians dumping the U.S. dollar in bilateral trade, uh, not, not mentioned once, not mentioned once in the media, one of the biggest news ever, because people are too worried about squeezing their fat asses through the fucking doors at Target and Walmart to get their cheap price goods from China, so they can get melamine and lead poisoning, stupid bastards. Excuse my French. 
TSA turns off naked body scanners to avoid opt-out day protests, anticipating a nationwide grassroots surge of protests against naked body scanners and aggressive pat-downs. The TSA simply turned off its naked body scanners on Wednesday and let air travelers walk right through the security checkpoints without being x-rayed or molested. Next up on the docket, TSA targets breastfeeding mothers. So we've had cancer patients, we have old women with bad hips and wheelchairs, and now it's TSA targets breastfeeding mother. Unless you've been living under a rock, you're hearing all sorts of TSA horror stories. And whether you believe procedures are there to protect us or just to show, the reality is they're just going above and beyond the call of duty and not in a good way. So it's not uh, to add yet another story about wasted manpower that would let real threats slip by. Mother Stacy Armado tried to go home to L.A. and her seven-month-old son and uh, for the 12 ounces of breast milk she pumped while she was gone. She didn't want to put the breast milk through the radiation, so she requested an alternate screening, which had every right to do. And she says, but what happened is completely unjust. After repeated requests, she finally received a video of horrible of her horrible experience from TSA security cameras, well, except the parts they edited out first. Said mothers, uh, said she had those rules printed out on a piece of paper right there with breast milk. It says mothers flying with and now without their child will be permitted to bring breast milk in quantities greater than three ounces as long as it is declared for inspection at the security checkpoint by your local Nazi. Uh, breast milk is in the same category as liquid medications. Now a mother flying without her child will be able to bring best breast milk through the checkpoint provided it is declared prior to screening. So if you don't declare it, uh-oh, it's contraband. Uh-oh, better call the um, better call the president. We got a, uh, um, what is it, untraced or uh, contraband of uh, breast milk. U.S. uses its embassies for espionage. It says whistleblower website WikiLeaks has released over 250K classified U.S. documents, some of which unveil that U.S. embassies across the world are part of an espionage, uh, espionage network. So and it says, uh, ranges from U.S. involvement in spying against the U.N. to harsh criticisms of the war in Afghanistan. Students block Rome ahead of vote as capital uh, Rome, Italy's capital Rome, has come to a standstill as tens of thousands of students have once again staged protests against the government's austerity plans. Moving on here, French police kill Mali man with taser. You know, that's kind of funny because I could have sworn I heard officials and government official authorities saying that the taser can't kill anybody. It says French police have tasered an Afri African immigrant to death in Paris uh, in a suburb of uh, Colombes after he allegedly resisted police who tried to check his identification papers. So, says the unnamed victim reportedly died of a heart attack after he was given an electric shock with the taser gun twice by the police. It's all, it was probably just to keep him safe, right? Keep himself safe from himself. British students in fresh protests, British school and university students, along with trade unionists, unionists sorry, stage fresh protests across the UK on a national day of action against cuts to education and the public sector. Next up, SIU clears officers in G20 probe. This is just an awesome picture. I mean, look at this. <laughs> a boot to the back, and this guy is just poor slave, you know, he's just like, uh, <laughs> I'm so free. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, yeah, dude. So uh, I'm going to keep moving on here to finish up. Mask wearing protesters in D.C. can now be arrested. That's right. The uh, the Nazi police state in Mexico who wears uh, their ski mask. And now you're starting to see them uh, trickle up to Pennsylvania and these uh, G20 and G8 summits, right? Now you're starting to see these Gestapo SS stormtroopers uh, wearing these ski masks here in the home of the Brie home of the brie, home of the brave, land of the slaves, the U.S. of A. And um, so now, like, if you want to have uh, tinted windows in your car and you live in a state even that allows tinted windows, well, you're still going to get pulled over. Just open your eyes and see all the cars that get pulled over on the expressway and, and just count and see how many of them had tinted windows. You want to know why? Because the police who are hiding behind their little tinted windows and their little uh, Batmobiles that are totally souped up with federal databases and all kinds of stuff. They listen in hundreds of yards away into your car and have uh, license plate readers, among many other little gadgets that would make 007 blush. Uh, they don't like when the slaves get to see them, the whites of their eyes, through their little windows. They want to be able to see you. They don't like you having tinted windows. British MEP booted out of EU Parliament says he's been expelled. 
uh, after calling a German colleague an undemocratic fascist, creating an uproar in, uproar in the assembly. Union township schools extend uh, drug testing, so now they're going to start drug testing schools, uh, school children. That's all the time we have, folks. Thank you for joining GGN, and take care.